ever pondered the intriguing dynamics of age gap relationships. An age-old narrative often spotlighted on Hollywood screens with older affluent men traditionally paired with younger women. But did you know that the tables are turning? Today we see a rise in older women seeking the companionship of younger men and in some cases even paying for it. Society's views on this topic are varied and the perspectives are as diverse as the relationships themselves. Today we delve into an exploration of seven countries where this trend is on the rise. Starting our countdown, we land in Europe, specifically in Spain. Here the culture of openness and freedom contributes significantly to a societal acceptance of all types of relationships, including those where older women seek the companionship of younger men. The vibrant Spanish culture known for its lively festivals, late night dinners and passionate flamenco dances embraces the concept of living life to the fullest, irrespective of age. This zest for life is reflected in the way relationships are perceived. It's not unusual here to find older women embracing relationships with younger men, seeking to relish in their youthful energy and spirit. The Spanish saying, la vida es corta, or life is short, beautifully captures this sentiment. Age is seen not as a barrier, but as a testament to wisdom and experience, celebrated rather than frowned upon. So in Spain, age is just a number, and love knows no boundaries. Next, we jet off to the land of the rising sun, Japan. Japan's societal norms are deeply rooted in respect and reverence for the elderly, a trait that is uniquely woven into the fabric of their culture. However, these norms, coupled with the country's low birth rate, have resulted in a significant aging population. As a result, many older women find themselves feeling isolated and lonely. In the face of loneliness, these women are increasingly seeking the companionship of younger men. This dynamic is not just about romantic relationships or physical intimacy, it's about connection, about finding someone to share experiences with, about feeling seen and valued in a society that often overlooks the elderly. The societal norms of Japan, while respectful, can unintentionally contribute to the loneliness experienced by older women. It is this sense of loneliness that has led to the growing trend of older women seeking and often paying for the company of younger men. In Japan, tradition and loneliness play a significant part in shaping these relationships. Crossing the Pacific, we reach the United States. Here, the trend of older women courting younger men is fueled by a complex cocktail of societal pressures and personal desires. The American culture, with its relentless pursuit of youth and vitality, plays a significant role in shaping these relationships. The desire for youthful energy, for a spark that rekindles the spirit, is a driving force for many older women. Meanwhile, societal pressure to maintain a youthful appearance is also a significant factor. The beauty industry, with its countless anti-aging products and procedures, is a testament to this obsession. This pressure often extends to personal relationships. A younger partner can be seen as a symbol, a testament to an older woman's ability to defy the march of time. In a society where age is more than just a number, these relationships offer a semblance of control, a way to push back against the ticking clock. In the US, the quest for youthfulness fuels these relationships. Are you fascinated by what we've uncovered so far? The dynamics of relationships are evolving and we're here to explore the intriguing aspects of this trend. If you're finding the content thought-provoking, why not give us a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, or better yet, share this video with someone who might also find it interesting. It's a world full of diverse cultures and unique practices, and we're just getting started. Stay tuned as we continue our journey. We now hop to the land down under Australia. Australia, with its sun-kissed beaches and laid-back lifestyle, is known for its friendly and open culture. This openness extends to the realm of relationships too, where societal norms are often viewed through a more progressive lens. This open-mindedness manifests in a variety of ways, one of which is the increasing acceptance of relationships between older women and younger men. This trend, which some might find unconventional, is seen as just another facet of a diverse society by many Australians. The country's relaxed attitude towards relationships combined with the emphasis on individual freedom creates an environment where such connections can thrive. Older women seeking the company of younger men are not frowned upon here. In fact, they are often respected for their choice, 
showcasing Australia's commitment to personal liberty. Australia's progressive mindset is not just about accepting these relationships, but about fostering an environment where they can flourish. Australia's open-mindedness fosters these unconventional relationships. Our next stop takes us to the diverse landscapes of South Africa. Here, age gap relationships are not only accepted but also embraced, despite the country's tumultuous history. The societal norms have been shaped by a unique blend of cultures and traditions, and this extends to personal relationships as well. In the vibrant cities and tranquil countryside of South Africa, older women are finding companionship and sometimes more with younger men. The reasons behind this trend are as varied as the country itself. Some attribute it to a sense of empowerment, while others point to the allure of the exotic. There's also a shift in relationship dynamics at play. Women, who have traditionally been seen as the nurturers, are now seen as providers too. This shift has allowed older women to step out of societal expectations and explore relationships that were once considered taboo. In South Africa, age gap relationships thrive amidst diversity. Finally, we confront the elephant in the room, the ethical implications. The trend of older women seeking the company of younger men and often offering financial incentives is not without its controversies. These relationships, while consensual on the surface, raise complex questions about power dynamics, exploitation, and societal implications. Firstly, the issue of consent. While these relationships are between two consenting adults, we must question the power dynamics at play. Is it truly consent if one party is financially dependent on the other? Next, we delve into the potential for exploitation. The older women in these relationships often hold the financial power which can lead to a skewed balance. This imbalance can potentially lead to manipulation and control, raising questions about the true nature of the relationship. Furthermore, we must consider the societal implications. These relationships challenge traditional norms and expectations about age and relationships. While some might see this as a progressive step towards freedom of choice in relationships, others might view it as a disturbing trend that normalizes exploitation and commodification of relationships. Then there's the question of the normalization of exploitation. By accepting these relationships, are we as a society implicitly giving our approval to the exploitation of younger men? And if so, what message does this send to future generations about the nature of relationships and the value of love versus material wealth? These are complex questions with no easy answers. It all boils down to individual perspectives and societal norms. Some might argue that these relationships represent a shift in power dynamics with older women taking control of their desires and finances. Others might see it as a symptom of an increasingly materialistic society where relationships are reduced to transactions. Ultimately, the ethical implications of these relationships are a reflection of broader societal debates about power, wealth, and relationships. They force us to question our preconceived notions and challenge us to think critically about what we consider acceptable and ethical in relationships. The question remains, where do you stand on this issue? We've journeyed through seven countries, each with their unique perspective on age gap relationships. We've seen the rich tapestry of cultural norms, societal expectations and personal desires that shape these relationships. From Spain's open-mindedness to Japan's respect for the elderly, our journey started in Spain where a culture of freedom and openness has given rise to a trend of older women seeking the companionship of younger men. We then headed to the land of the rising sun, Japan, where societal norms and a deep respect for the elderly have left many older women seeking the company of younger men. In the United States, we uncovered a multifaceted situation where the lure of youthful energy and societal pressure to maintain a youthful appearance are driving more older women to seek relationships with younger men. Then we headed down under to Australia, where the laid-back and friendly culture has led to a more open-minded view on relationships, including those between older women and younger men. Our journey concluded in South Africa, a country with a tumultuous history, yet one where relationships between older women and younger men are embraced. Throughout our journey, we've seen that the reasons behind this trend are as varied as the countries themselves, ranging from loneliness and empowerment to the allure of the exotic and a shift in the dynamics of relationships. 
However, we also delved into the ethical implications of these relationships, raising questions about consent, exploitation, societal implications, and the normalization of exploitation. It's clear that this is a complex issue with no easy answers and one that deserves further exploration and understanding. In conclusion, age gap relationships, particularly those where older women pay younger men for companionship and more, are a global phenomenon shaped by a variety of cultural, societal and personal factors. However, as we continue to explore and understand these relationships, it's important to remember that each relationship is unique and must be viewed in its own context. Remember, love comes in many forms and age is just a number. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey.